Hi, I'm Greg Turquetta, Senior Chief Communications Officer for Richland Two Schools. If and when a school emergency happens, how will you know? Here's how. Your phone's gonna get a phone call, a text message, a push notification, and an email from my team saying something like this, R2 alert, blank school is on lockdown. Seek shelter immediately, do not come to campus at this time. You'll only get that message if we have updated contact information for you in the parent portal. Is your contact information up to date right now? Did you enter a working cell phone number in the correct field? That piece is critical. Now, once that's done, knowing the language on this sheet is the next step. Schools go to a secure status pretty regularly for things like police activity in the area. But if you hear lockdown, then this is a serious event. Lockdown means classrooms go to locks, lights, and out of sights. Campus will be closed. You will not be able to come to campus and pick your child up. Deputies will have to sweep the building to confirm and potentially neutralize any threats. Once that's done, they would then go classroom by classroom to release the staff and students. By now, you're probably figuring out this could take quite a while. Information will be limited at this time beyond us declaring a lockdown event is happening. We must give deputies time to do their job. When the campus is deemed safe and the threat is over, the injured would be transported to local hospitals and buses would come to campus to bring students to a reunification site. That is where you'll be able to pick your child up. The next district message you will receive will be announcing where that reunification site is located. This step is actually critical to prepare for right now. Make sure that the people who may pick up your child are on the school's approved pickup list. They must bring a photo ID to check in and pick up your child. It can be any kind of official ID from any country. It just has to have a picture of you on it. When you get to that reunification center, it's gonna take a little while to get inside and get your child. Our high schools have upwards of 2,000 students. Some middle schools are close to 1,000. We're gonna be bringing parents in in small groups where you will check in with that photo ID to get a pickup slip, and that will be for your child. You will then wait while a district staff member goes and gets your child and brings them to you in a waiting area. Once confirmed, you'll scan your child out and you're on your way. Now, over the last several weeks, Richland 2 leadership teams have held crisis communication and reunification training for our staff. We are prepared as we can be for an emergency. We need you to be prepared as well. So parents, I actually have homework for you today. Number one, make sure your approved pickup list is correct. Number two, make sure you download our Parent Square Emergency Communications app to get these messages. Three, go into the parent portal and make sure your contact information is filled in and accurate. Number four, have an ID ready when you have to pick up your child. And five, please remind your children that if they see something, they please say something to an administrator. Thank you for putting your children and your trust in Richland Two Schools.